This is how to set up a new project in Premiere Pro. All right, so once you have Premiere open, you're gonna to come to a screen like this. I'm just gonna hide these suggestions up here. That'll have all the projects that you've been working on listed right here. So if you're opening up a previous project, just click on it and it'll open. But for this video, we're talking about starting a new project. So you're gonna click on this button right here, which will bring you into Premiere's new start project slash import interface. Just know that there's also edit and export. So once you create your project, then edit and export are gonna light up as well, meaning you can click back and forth between them at any time. Directly under those, we have the project name and project location. Really know that these are the only two things that you have to do in this setup process in order to actually create a project. So for project name, I'm gonna put tripod video. You'll see why in a second. And then for project location, you're gonna click this little drop down. If you have a folder that you've been working on recently, it might show up here. Otherwise, you're gonna click choose location and then you're gonna find the folder that you wanna work from. So for me, it's in my digital workshop folder, in my YouTube folder, in camera basics, and then in tripod. If you notice, I have two folders. I always make one folder that I put my footage in, and then I make another one that all my project files for Premiere can go in. So I'm gonna double click on project files and then go to select folder. That's where my project is gonna be created. Okay, so the new way to import starts with this section over here, which is basically a file explorer situation. So whatever folder you click on, that's where you try and find the footage that you want to import. So they have a sample media folder. You can go to your pictures, movies, your downloads, whatever it is. For me, I'm gonna go back to this digital workshop drive right here, back into my YouTube folder, camera basics, and down to that tripod folder. So as we saw before, I know what's in here. This is gonna be all my project files, but all my footage is in here for this video. So I'm gonna double click and we can see all the thumbnail previews. Up at the top, you'll find all the different navigation and search tools, starting with this slider right here. So if you slide it to the left, it'll make the preview smaller so you can see more clips. And if you slide it to the right, then it'll make them bigger, which really helps if you're trying to scrub through to see if you actually want to select that clip or not. Over here, you have the two ways that you can view your footage. Right now, I'm on the grid view, which allows me to scrub through the clips and really only gives me the file name and the duration to see as far as information. But if I click on the list view, now we can't really scrub through, we just have a preview. It gives us the same information over here in terms of duration and the name, but now we have the date and frame size and frame rate as well. This section over here contains a bunch of different tools to help you sort and search for the footage that you wanna import. So right now I have it sorted by name and ascending order. You can change it to descending order or creation date, whatever. Right here, you have the options to search for just videos only or audios only, images only. I only have videos in this folder, so that won't change anything for me. This eyeball over here allows you to search based on the camera that you use to film certain footage. And then right here, you can obviously type in whatever you want. So if I typed in 162, then I could find a specific clip if I wanted. As far as selecting the clips that you actually want to import, it's pretty straightforward. You just click on the clip. You don't actually have to click on the little box there. You can just click right on it. Note that each clip that you select is gonna show up down here in the import bar. And if you deselect them, they will disappear. If you wanna select multiple clips, then there's a few different ways you can do it. You can click on one clip, for example, and then go down to like, let's say here, if you wanna select all of these, hold shift and click on that one. When you do that, it'll not only select those clips, but also every other clip that is between them. But you can also click into the dark gray and hold, make a box around the ones that you want as well. On the other hand, if you know you wanna select every single clip in a folder, instead of selecting them one at a time or in batches, just select the whole folder. So I'm gonna go back to tripod. I can see the whole folder here. Now when I click on it, you can see that it's gonna go right here. There's 46 clips in that folder that are all gonna be imported once I click import. Now, if you've selected any clips that you no longer want to import, then just click on them to deselect. But if you wanna deselect multiple clips, I would do that down here. So you can actually hold control and click on all the clips that you'd wanna get rid of that you no longer want to import, then just right click on one of them and go clear that'll eliminate them from here and deselect them up here as well. Oh, and one more thing, you're not limited to one folder in terms of your importing. If I wanted to go back in and import stuff from a separate folder, 
So if I go back into YouTube, camera basics, and maybe I wanna go into my format SD card one and select some footage, I can also select something from a different folder and you can see that I'll add those into the same import bar down here. Having said that, I do not recommend importing things from multiple folders at the same time. And I'm gonna show you why in just one second. All right, so now that you have all the clips selected that you wanna import from a particular folder, you're gonna go over to import settings. You have copy media, new bin, and create new sequence. I personally never use copy media, but if we turn it on, you can see that it actually creates copies of all the imported media files to your chosen location. So it's gonna make an extra copy of everything and put it in this folder. So either the same as the project or you can pick a new location wherever you want. Next, we have new bin or new folder that is gonna be created in your project to house all the clips that you've selected. This is why I suggest not to import files from multiple different locations on one import because it'll put all of those ones into this one folder, kind of ruining your sorting method once your project is created. So when you turn that on, you can click in here and name the folder or bin, whatever you want. Now, when I actually hit create, all of these clips will be put into that folder and organized nicely for me. Last but not least, we have create new sequence down here. So if I turn that on, once again, I can name it whatever I want, but just know that the settings for this sequence are gonna be created based on the very first clip that you selected. So if I go back to the list view, this sequence is gonna be created with these exact frame rate and frame size settings. So it'll be a 4K UHD clip at 23.98 frames per second. So if you don't remember what clip you selected first, or you're unsure of what your frame size and frame rate is gonna be for your project, then probably turn this off. I'm gonna leave it on right now so you can see what happens when you do leave it on, but I'm gonna go up to copy media and turn that off because I don't want media encoder or whatever opening up and making copies of all of these files. And now all you have to do is go down here and click create which will open up your project in the editing interface in Premiere Now instead of the import one. So we used to be on import, now we're on edit. A few important things to take note of once your project opens. Down here you have your project bin, so tripod video, that contains all the assets that we created upon import. So right now we have our tripod footage bin or tripod footage folder that if we drop down that contains all the video clips that we selected. If we close that down, you can see right here, we also have our tripod sequence one that we created indicated by this little slidey thing here. And it also is right here. So tripod sequence one, this is the actual sequence. And that contains all of the footage right here that was automatically put on the sequence that we selected. If you didn't click create sequence, then you're gonna have something that looks like this. There's gonna be nothing here and no extra sequence thing. If you did this and you don't know how to make a sequence, I have a video linked down in the description, but you can also just drop this open and especially if all your footage is the same. So I'm gonna expand this out for a second. You can see that here's the frame rate. And if we slide it further down, you can see the size of the video. So all of mine are 4K UHD and they're all at 23.976. So if all your footage is the same or you know that you have a clip that matches the sequence settings that you want, then all you have to do is right click and go up here to new sequence from clip. When you click that, it'll put that one clip on. So remember at the start, we had all the clips. Using this method, it just puts that one clip on and notice that it's named DSCF7161, which is the same as what that clip was. It just changed into that sequence instead of a file. To rename it, simply just click on it and then click again and then name it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna call it Tripod S2, for example. But what if you have more footage that you want to import? Well, you can do it one of two ways. If you know it's more tripod footage, then click on that folder and go up to import. Then just go back into tripod, into footage and find your other clips. So maybe it's this clip and this clip. Just make sure to not select new bin unclick that one and then select import. That'll bring those clips in and put it right into that tripod footage bin sorted properly in order. But if you wanted to bring in other footage that wasn't tripod footage, then just click down here, like make sure this is not selected, go up to import 
and find that footage. So I'm gonna go to camera basics, I'm gonna go to my format SD card one, I'll select a few clips there, and then make sure to go over to new bin. Not create a new sequence or anything, you don't need anything like that. Just go to new bin, make sure to turn that on, and name it something appropriate for the new footage. Now when you select import, it's gonna add another folder. So if I expand this out, you can see that now there's another folder that was added with just those two clips from SD card, whereas the tripod footage is still sorted over here. And note that it didn't automatically add those clips onto my sequence. But just know that to access the old way of creating a new project can be found up here. So under File, down to Project Settings, and over to General, that has the same three tabs here, General, Scratch Disks, and Ingest Settings. The only one you really have to pay attention to for general is video rendering and playback. So your renderer, you know, playback engine software only is pretty slow. So if you have something else, pick that. CUDA is a good one that is common to use. Down here, you can change your display format from timecode to one of these other ones like frames. I would just leave it at timecode. Same thing for display format. Audio samples is a good one. Milliseconds is if you're dealing with something that's really needing to match something up with beats, like it's more audio intensive, then you might wanna select that. I'm gonna leave it at audio samples because that matches the frames. For scratch disks, this is where you can change where you want the project like rendering and stuff to go. So for captured video, audio, whatever, I would say just leave it in same as project. So it'll be in that tripod project files bin that I put the project in when I created it. And then last but not least is ingest settings, which basically is that when we were in import, it was that copy thing. So to copy, there's the same preset thing, and then primary destination, same as project, whatever. I'm not gonna ingest or copy or do anything there, and I'm just gonna cancel. Okay, so now, if you actually wanna learn how to trim and edit your clips, either on the sequence and or within your project bin here by double-clicking and being able to preview and edit your clips and then drag them in from there, Make sure to watch my basic editing video that's linked in the description below. And then don't forget to watch my export video after that.